Hey everybody, I have another haul for you guys today. Today's haul is for Amazon. I feel like I haven't done an Amazon in haul in like far too long. Also, I did my makeup really natural today and I'm really feeling it because I don't really like to wear foundation in the summer. It's just too much. So I just used some tinted moisturizer and I'm like living for the result. I think this is the best my skin has ever looked with tinted moisturizer. <sighs> But we'll get to what I'm doing with my skin because honestly I'm having like a moment with my skin but that'll be another video. So let's jump right in. Today's haul has got a lot of stuff. I focused a lot on Amazon's new brands that they have that they've put out to kind of assess how those are. And then I also have some swim just because I was like, well, why not get swimsuits off Amazon? So let's just jump right in. The first item is from Amazon's house brand which is called Daily Ritual. So it's a standard black tank dress. I got this because I was looking for something that could be a base for looks in the summer and also something that was like a little black dress or a little comfy black dress for the spring summer season. This is made of a nice heavy jersey. It's got a tulip hem, hem or rounded hem, a bib hem as you might call it as well. And it's made out of, the fabric feels really, really nice. It's rayon and spandex. It's really cute. I like that there's no seam down the front. They did put the seam in the back here. And overall, it feels really high quality. It feels really soft and I'm pretty impressed. This is really comfortable. I love it. Ooh, what did I order? What is this? What is this? I don't even know what it is. It's print. Oh, this is fun. This is from Coastal Blue, which is Amazon's swim line. It's got a fun little mesh stripe here. So like when it's on, it looks like you have a bikini on, but it like holds everything together like a swimsuit, which I thought is great for those of you that are like a little afraid of wearing a bikini. It's like a baby step. Baby step into the elevator. Baby step into the bikini. Here's the one thing I don't particularly love about it is the top seam of the bottom is like not sewn onto here. So my question is, is this just gonna fold over? Is it supposed to fold over? Maybe it is. I, I don't know, I'm gonna have to try it on and see. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's this band right here. Like is the band supposed to be here? Is it supposed to be up? Cause to me it feels like, okay, it should be down, but it's not sewn one way or the other. So I can't actually tell Maybe it's like if you want more coverage, you do this, and you want less coverage, you do that. I don't, I don't know, I'm gonna have to see it on. The print though is lovely. It's this beautiful tropical, and that's called a bird of paradise. Let me just show you the butt. The butt's better. That's a bird of paradise is what that flower is. I learned that when I was in Bermuda, so that makes me sound so well-traveled. But yeah, it's, it's either gonna look amazing or terrible, and I don't know which one. So tell me what you think because I'm wearing it right now next to this, but in talking, I have not yet worn it yet. You get it. You get it, guys, but tell me what you think, for real. So it's crazy, because the mesh actually looks like it's my skin, but again, it's giving me that support for someone who's just like not comfortable with a bikini. I also like that the legs holes are really like, it's a high cut, it's not like a, um, Super low cut, which sometimes can be a little uncomfortable with me with bigger thighs. <laughs> hey, pulling the tab to open the bag. I don't know where that came from. Next item we have is, oh, it's a navy little sundress. So it's similar to the one I had before, but it's longer and it has this smocked waist, which is where obviously it pulls in at the waist. Thing to note about the Daily Ritual brand is they are like a basics brand, so oh, I have hair. I'll get out, get out of my, ugh. It's caught in my lip gloss and I can feel it. Get out. Okay, we're free. No, it's back. Ugh. I'm literally about to pull that hair out of my face. Stop trying to hinder my work. I'm back. Anyway, the Daily Rituals brand is all about basics. So of course, a lot of these dresses are gonna be more basics in style. Again, it's that super soft jersey. Same bib hem. It's very similar to the previous dress we looked at, except the previous dress had like a slight V in the neckline. This is a this is a rounded, more higher up neckline. 
and then also the smocking at the waist. It also does seem to be about an inch or two longer, and this is in the color navy, which for us blondes is a lovely, lovely color. It makes us look like we're going to the country club. So again, this is a nice little basic to add to the wardrobe. Okay, this dress is amazing. All I want is for them to make this in like every color of the rainbow. If they did, I would like literally buy multiples of these. It is so comfy and it's the perfect length for me. A little below the knee. I still feel covered, but I still feel summery or springy or whatever season you want to be. <laughs> now we get into some color. I have missed you. Okay, this is very red, which I'm already excited about. This is from their house brand called Lark and Row. And this is a sheath dress with these really cool button details here. And here's the best part. It actually opens. What? And I actually kind of like the way it looks open because it's just two snaps. Like I've never seen a closure like that. It's very, very cool. We've got some nice details here at the sleeves. We've got four strands of like uh, embroidered embellishment is what I call it. It's literally just a straight seam, but you know what I mean. It is fully lined. It's acetate but not. It's got a little stretch to it, and it's not that like shiny, gunky stuff I don't like. I don't know what it is, though. We've got a zipper down the back, but we all know this is going on over my head because I don't F with zippers. Though, if you did, you could zip it in out of this. I was <laughs> just like... I know I've made it like in love when I'm like standing there and I put a dress on and I go, zip me up. That's never happened. It probably never will happen because I'm just going to throw it on over my head. Anyway, it's a straight sheath. It does have pockets here down in the front like kangaroo, which I think is really cute. It reminds me of like a sexy mod stewardess. That's probably why I picked it out. And it is on the shorter side. I'd say probably about an inch, maybe two above the knee. And thus I continue my never ending war with shift dresses. They are always just too tight and my hippie dippies and my butt, but they do always make my butt look really good. So it is what it is folks. So this <laughs> I got cause I just saw it and I was like, I need to have it. And you'll understand why I was looking on the internet and then I met this bag. Can you see it? I don't think you guys can tell the glitter of it yet. Bah! I needed it. It's so sparkly and magical. Oh, that hair. It's so sparkly and magical and everything I want, but it still looks classy. I mean, minus the plastic thing around it right now, but it's, I love when glitter is like adult appropriate glitter, which this is 100% adult appropriate glitter. I am feeling this so hard. I'm just trying to see if there's any adjustability in the strap. There's not, so it's a little bit shorter, but I guess I can wear it like that. Hi, hi, this is my bag. And this is glitter and fun tassels here. Let's look what's inside of it. Oh, this is not a let down, this is a let up. What's a <laughs> let up? Go home, Anna. So it's just like a standard inside and then there's like a little pocket, but oh, this is my favorite thing. It's the bestest. It's way better in person than I thought it would be. I thought it might look cheap. It does not, it looks expensive. And therefore fulfilling all my life bag goals. You can also take this strap off and use it just as a clutch, should you want. I'm holding it down there, you can't see it, but if I did, you see I was like, my clutch. It's totally clutch. Let's keep going, fighting! Okay, so, now we're on to the next bag. And we have, ooh, I forgot I ordered this, but I got excited about it, cause color! It is this, Amazing, bright as bright can be pink top from Rachel Roy from Amazon. I needed it. I think it's obvious why I needed it because hello, do you see the color? Do you see it against my skin tone? Do you see my living my best life? Because I needed it. 
It has this really cool faux halter neck, which is great for me because I have bigger hips, balances those hips out, goes out into a cold sleeve and a larger opening here at the arm, so that helps my big arms. And then it kind of fluffies out at the waist. So yes, queen. We got two buttons here to close the neckline with a nice little keyhole slot. The detail in the front is really awesome because it's like a crossover thing. I don't know how to explain this, but I'm living for it. This is, this and my sparkle bag need to have a sexy night out. I just need a lover. If you wanna be my lover, you gotta clean up all the packages I open. I'm not really selling myself well here, am I? I burped a little bit, whatever. <laughs> Mother of Pearl, this is my dream shirt. This is boop -a -dee boop 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 booty I'm obsessed with it. It's the best color. The cut is super unique and flattering. This one will have to be ripped from my cold dead hands. I love this a lot. I think I actually plan an outfit because when I open something, I'm like, oh, all of this kind of goes together. I'm like, duh. -ha. So, I just love that it has a thing to tell me. It's trending now, guys. Just so you know, it's red hot and trending now. These are a pair of jeans from Celebrity Pink. I have not tried them at all. I have no clue if they will fit. I just am trying some new brands out. They are beat up but I thought it would be fun to try them. And then the bottoms are like rolled up, but you can roll them down. Like they just came rolled up. They got some nice stretch to them. They got some nice stretch. They feel light. So they're like a good summer jean. And I just love the color. So I'm thinking this pink shirt, bag, what, what? Mama gonna get some. Heck, I don't need a date. I'm gonna find me a date while wearing this look because you know all this together sex goddess. I love when I like recognize styling after I ordered it because I've just been sitting there on my counter and I forgot. Anyway, so these jeans are definitely too low cut for me. They're not comfortable and they don't feel great and I don't feel sexy in them. So they're going to go back. All right. Oh, this one does not want to come out of the bag. I'm living here forever. Oh, see, so this is where they're neat, where they put it in a bag and then it's in another bag. And it's like that box situation where there's never any fulfillment because you just keep on opening stuff. Got it. So it came with this bag, which I'm never gonna use, bye. And it is a galaxy print bottom. Again, looks very true to size. These are, all the swimsuits are in three X. So this is kind of cute. And then the top has like a weird crisscrossy front part here with a little bit of mesh detail here. Just a tiny bit of mesh. In the back, the double support. And it's adjustable both here in the back and on the straps, but not at the bottom part. This looks fairly well made. Again, a little surprise. The cups are huge. Like, I don't have the lady, the, the boobalas for this, the lady parts. I mean, I have the lady parts, just not big enough for, I, you'll see, you'll see. This, I'll be drowning, drowning, drowning. I'll be drowning in this, drowning sounds wrong, but it's the way you say the word. I'll be drowning in the suit. So we'll see how that goes when you get to just see my sad lack of boobs and a, and a suit obviously made for a much larger chest. The bottom has a little ruching down the front, very sim like standard swimsuit pattern. It looks a little bit like they like they mimicked some of the other suits. Almost all plus high waisted bottoms have this ruching. It's like a it's like a thing. I don't know why everyone's like, oh, the plus girls ruched high waisted bottom. Get on that because every single high waisted bottom for plus size girls has that. So the print's kind of fun though. But I know the top is like, just even looking at it, it's not gonna fit me right. Ugh! I wish this bra top was smaller. Remember I said I was gonna be swimming in it? It looks fine right now, right? Just let me just lean forward a little bit. There's like, I could fit some real good fruit snacks, maybe a granola bar, a couple cell phones, maybe a pair of shoes, 
and still have room in the cove. <laughs> but the pattern is great and the fit on the bottoms is really good. So if you are a bigger busted plus size girl, this suit is popping. It's popping. So, <laughs> sometimes I just buy things because I'm like, neon! This is definitely one of those. It's a neon lace up suit, obviously lace up here. And then it has a strap that comes around the back with hair everywhere. And the back strap is adjustable as, as well as, it seems removable. So if you have not a lot of bubulas like me, you could probably take this strap out because you don't need the extra support and just rock it full on open back. And it's just this awesome neon print. Like, look at this. It's so Saved by the Bell meets Flashdance meets 80s aerobics class. I mean, I'm here for it. The top is again a halter. So you just tie your halter and bada boom. 3X um, looks about the right size, but looks maybe a little bit on the smaller side. I got way more suits than I remembered getting from Amazon. So I guess this is like kind of a swimsuit haul, but not intentionally. So I have a love-hate relationship with this suit. I love the cut. I love that it's high-waisted on the sides. I love the print. Bada bang. But it is, again, short-waisted. I need just a little bit more length in the suit. She's a maniac, maniac of love. And she's walking like she's never walked before. I had to do it, sorry. <laughs> I had to. It's now up my butt whatever again a 3x suit this is oh, okay so it's one like sided here this strap here is removable so you can have this small strap or not it's got this weird sewn cutout thing through the body and then it goes down into like a normal bottom I don't know if you can see this it's gonna be easier to see so the cutout like goes across the body and then down to the side of the, the pant. It actually does literally go down all the way to the side of the brief. And then it ties there. This is really unique and different. It's either going to look amazing on me or look terrible, and I'm not sure. I love the color. The construction is actually really impressive, and the design is pretty unique and cool. I haven't seen anything like this in Plus. So I like that it's, you know, different, and it's from Amazon, so you can get it in, like, two days. <laughs> Which is, like, why I shop on Amazon a lot because I can get it in two days, no stress, ever. <laughs> oh, man. It's like my tummy is trying to escape. <laughs> this is terrible. It is like a bad Easter egg. It's like a crime scene. It's, it's so weird, it's all the way around too. <laughs> uh, nope. <laughs> Okay, whew. Serious model face. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Keep going. It keeps going. There's so much in this haul, guys. I'm apologizing up front. This is another suit, but this is a bikini. We have a cute kind of just standard bottom here, a little bit different because you've got the crisscrossing. I'm going to say right here, it's lined in a weird fabric that I hate. This is cheap and terrible, and I hate it. The stretch for this suit is like virtually non-existent. So my big my big butt is probably not gonna be happy. It will not like being contained in this stretchless crappy fabric. So this is not not I don't like it. The top, it's okay. It's okay. It's you know a faux off the shoulder kind of thing. It's got that little crisscross that matches the bottoms. The top actually might be cute. I might keep the top. But the, the lining, it just grates me so much. It literally, yeah, it smells shitty too. No, I don't like this suit. I won't wear it. I'll try it on for this video, but it smells like poop. It feels like poop. And I don't want to wear it because it might look like poop. Nope, poop is for somebody else. Not this. This is prime A beef before you chew it and poop it out. No poop. <laughs> the model for this haul. No poop. <laughs> so actually, 
like it a lot more once I put it on. It does still smell funny, but it kind of fits really cute and it was pretty inexpensive. So I take back my unkind words. My opinion has been changed. And that's why folks, you gotta try Shiz on. Prime example. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> I feel like I can, so many suits. This is very much reminiscent of Survivor with, um, with Beyonce, where she's like, I don't know why, but it's like made me think of that military and then like on the beach. It has a long lace up front, a lace up on the side that actually starts at the top and goes down. I kind of wish it went from the bottom up just cause you know, I don't know, I think it would make more sense. And then the same over here as well. Oh, I guess it does. So it's a little weird. So I want the lacing to stop here, but it actually is like cut out. You tie it at the bottom, but it's like rounded out here at the bottom, which just makes it a little weird. It looks, it looks manky. This suit looks cheap and manky. There we go. This is not a great suit. I don't love it. It's okay lining wise, but construction, I see some big issues. Just even in here, like the way things are sewn in, it just looks cheap and fast. And this just kills me. This just kills me right here. Like you pull this tight and you're gonna have this weird, like a little thing that's, it's just weird. Not good. Pass. <laughs> okay. So, uh, the torso in this is really short. So it's like literally pulling all the way down to here because there was not enough like lower bottom put into this suit. <laughs> it's definitely pulling up here because it just needs some more length. But it's, <laughs> it's a statement piece. That's for show. Damn good is. Damn good is. <laughs> Oh, short girls probably like it more though. Um, but I don't know. It's kind of cheap, but it looks better on. I mean, it definitely, <laughs> definitely is a bounce chicka bounce wow type of deal. So I wore this in Miami and everyone flipped out, so I couldn't not include it in this haul. It's my little cover up. It's actually, I think, a sleep shirt, but I used it as a cover up and I loved it that way. So I'd recommend you do the same. So there was one item that while I was trying things on, I forgot to show you guys, which is this Noah Shady Beach shirt. It's the best. I wore it in Miami as a cover up. It's totally supposed to be pajamas. Who cares? Wear it how you like. I got more questions asked needs for this shirt on Instagram than anything else I'd ever worn. And that's because everybody loves a good pun. And this is a brilliant pun. It's a good color. It's a fun design. It's an ace in the hole, my folks. It's very, very comfortable. And it's not expensive. What else could you need from life? I ask you. Probably nothing. What is still in here? Okay, the first thing, I don't know what this is, so let's. These are, oh, these are rich lady sunglasses. Yes, Amazon, where I get all my sunglasses. Let's take a little stroll down my Amazon sunglasses line. Give me a second. The first pair. Do, 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 do. I look so cool. I look like I would not let you sit at my table. Oh yeah, I just went to Coachella last weekend and then I went to this secret art project down in Brooklyn. It was actually in Bushwick. It was also invite only. It's a hidden restaurant that serves only food that's been smuggled in from third world countries in people's pants. That's really, really urban and cool. So these are ridiculous, but I keep wearing them whenever I'm sad and doing this. But 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 I am the Jets. Do 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 like literally all the time. I don't know when there's a logical time to wear sun these sunglasses, but they make me real happy, so they were worth it. I think they're like a ten dollar hauler. Most of these sunglasses are a ten dollar hauler. But 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 Benny, Benny, Benny and the Jets. Sorry, I could do that all day. These are probably the pair that I find like most hip, cool, in style. They had a bunch of different colors. And again, not expensive, but just really unique and cool. Ah! Aren't they so fun? Mm. Mm. 
I love them. And I've had multiple people stop me on where I got these because they're just such a unique blend of colors and unique style. And again, for like $10, Ain't nobody hurting from you looking so good. And they really do, they're really great. These are the last ones. And I just think these are obviously very eccentric, very different, but for the price point, like why not own a super weird pair of sunglasses? Why not own something that's like an actual statement on your eyes? I think when you're spending like a couple hundred dollars or whatever, it's, it's hard to like take that jump and buy something quirky. But with these, you can be quirky and fun and not feel like you spent so much money that you can only wear these sunglasses. Oh, I forgot, there's one more. Okay, so these are my all-time favorite from this season. And the reason why is I just think, A, they look super cool on me, and B, like, again, I haven't seen anything like this. How rad are those? They have these in a bunch of different colors as well. I've seen them in blue and yellow. I've seen them in just black and white if you want something more like traditional. But I've worn these twice. Again, people stop me and ask me where I got them and I'm like, hey, Amazon. But yeah, so those, that, that was a little detour that I didn't initially plan down all the sunglasses I've bought. This is gonna be a really long Amazon haul, so enjoy it. I forgot what it was, so I'm gonna rip off the lid really fast. Bam! It was less exciting than I wanted it to be because I wanted to be able to see what I actually purchased. Surprise. Oh, girl. Mama got some sexy nude heels. I forgot that I purchased these because I don't have any nude heels and it's kind of like a blogger faux pas for spring to not have a pair of nude heels. We'll put them on real quick. I will tell you how they feel. I should film it, but mm, deal with it. You're gonna see me suddenly get... Ah! Ooh, they're pretty comfortable. <sighs> okay, so candidly, for as high a heel they are, they're pretty damn comfortable. I just don't know if I can rock this high of a heel. The challenge I have is I had foot surgery like a bajillion years ago, and it makes this ish hard, but I, I don't feel like I would find a more comfortable one. Like, feel... Do you see all that padding? It's so padded. I'm gonna have to debate on these. They're real cute, but my feet have issues. My feet have issues. You got them too. I don't know what was going with that. Okay, so new to this section, I'm adding a little thing about things I bought that did not work out. The first is this bikini which is definitely made for a genetically modified human because the bra top like is huge. And if you had ladies this big, would you really want some extra padding? Questionable. The bottoms are like half the size of the top. So this is made for a specific type of 3X, which I will never be without a lot of plastic surgery, which I have no desire to get. So this is a, an Amazon fail. The next Amazon fail kind of bums me out because I wanted it to work. It's this insane, like, crocheted suit. The problem is it has absolutely no stretch, so you need to order a size up. Additionally, it's really short-waisted, as you can kind of see from here. So, like, you need to be short to be able to wear this. So if you are a chubby girl that is short and can order a size up in this, then it might actually work for you. But for most people, it probably won't. We're also gonna talk about how the back has very little butt coverage for a plus suit. You can see there that you're probably gonna be going to crack town in this one. And the last would probably work for anyone that's not me. This is a problem of the hips. I just couldn't make it work for my hips. Just wouldn't stretch enough, I didn't want to fight it enough to get it on. So this one was a fail for me because it wouldn't fit over my hips, but this is one's kind of not really a fail because I feel like if you don't have larger hips, if you're like an apple, this will probably work for you. Done. Boo! Crushed it. Anyway, that is my Amazon haul. It was a lot of stuff. We got swimsuits. We got random other stuff I bought from the Daily Ritual line. We got shoes sunglasses we got some bikinis there's a lot of stuff you can find links to all of that stuff 
down below in the section of which details are put, the, de the comment, the details box. Blah, I can't even today. Can you tell that I'm on cold meds? Because I can. <laughs> With that, guys, again, be more clear. Links to everything is in the description box. Hope you guys have an amazing day. I love you all, and peace. <laughs> it's never going away. Forever and ever, you always will be, but I will stand here forever and ever. Till that beep is clear, oh I cannot stand when you're always beeping at me.